What's up guys? Kevin from ProDirt here again with the second tutorial of this tutorial series that I'm working on. Just trying to uh, teach how to design stuff in SketchUp because there's not much out there. So today I'm going to show you how to make a berm from start to finish. Yesterday I made a video doing the, uh, the rollers. Now we'll do a berm and then we can connect them all for a uh, a nice complete pump track. We're going to start by hitting View, Tool Palettes, Sandbox. Sandbox is where all the magic happens. Hit this second one down. We're going to click and we're going to make like a really big rectangle. About yay big. It's probably a little bit too big, but whatever, that's fine. All right, now that we have this rectangle made, we're going to go into it by hitting edit group or double clicking either way and we're going to take the radius tool and just make a nice big radius so we don't want to start all the way out because this radius is going to be our top deck of the berm so you need to have some space for the, the side slopes so let's put it you know right about right about here should be good go across in a straight line to find the other edge drag up and there we go there's a nice looking radius for the berm so now to finish off the top deck we need to make another radius a little bit behind it let's see right about there go up with it make a nice little there we go so now what we have here is two curves on top of this grid. Still flat, still not a berm yet, but from a 2D angle, you can see that that's a berm, almost. All right, so this part takes a little bit of time. So I don't know if you, if you saw the last video, you'll see how I erase the lines out to make one flat rectangle that you can pull up. So we're gonna do that same exact thing. And the quickest way to do that is gonna be hitting this eraser tool and just going back and forth like this and just erasing all the lines. Now I understand this is very time consuming, but um, unless you know a better way to do it, this is, this is the way that you have to do it. I'm sure there are some people out there that are much more efficient with this software, but hey, I do what I can. Luckily for you, I'm not gonna make you sit through this all. I actually just made another one a little bit earlier that I forgot to be screen, re screen recording, and that is right here. So I'm gonna drag this in, and I'm only halfway done erasing it, so I'm gonna do a little more racing, but I'll fast forward this for you. Okay, just about done. All right, done with that. Now that was time consuming, but to be honest, I used to do it an old way that was way more time consuming. So just bear with me here. And the good part is once we do make this model, of this berm, we can just copy and paste that over and over again wherever we need it. So this is kind of like a one-time thing. You just want to make one really nice berm that we can use over and over again. All right. So the first step is done. We have this defined top deck, and now we can start playing with it. So I'm going to kind of jump forward real quick. We're going to click this third button down. Okay, cool. I'm going to make this radius a little bit bigger. 
because you know that's gonna be a really steep berm I'm gonna make it about let's see how 13 looks all right that looks a little better all right so 13 is the number i'm going to be using you can use whatever you want it's going to depend depend on how big you made your rectangle because if obviously if if these yellow dots are on the outside of your rectangle it's going to pull the surface up and it's not going to be flush with the ground now that we have that, I'm going to click once, start dragging up, and just like that, the magic happens. But you see how it's kind of like a, it's not like a sharp edge where it meets with the top deck. We're going to have to do a little, a little problem solving to fix that. So I'm going to start by just keeping this kind of lower than the final height, maybe right there. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing again, let it load. So I'm going to make a, say, six foot radius for this one, half, about half of what it was before. See now the yellow dots kind of start halfway up, which is what we want. I'm going to click again, drag up, there we go. So now that's a lot better looking berm than that last one we did with. Cool. And you can, you know, do this even more to make even more of a top edge. Like just for an example, I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's change this to three. Click. Drag. Nice. I see how good that looks. That literally looks like a Velo Solutions berm. That is nice. Only thing it's missing is a red painted line, and that would be a Velo berm. All right, cool. Not a little small though. Theirs are pretty tall. But anyways, cool. And see, and these little like little bumps that you kind of see, you're not gonna, you're not gonna notice those. Trust me especially when it's all painted. And you can even do this other trick at the end I'll show you that it kind of smooths everything out. But there we go. We have a nice looking berm. But you can't really tell where the trail is. It looks like it's just kind of like all one skate park looking thing. So we want to make a nice little trail, you know, like this, that is defined. Now, to do that, we already have this outside line straight, but the inside is going to need a curve. So let's just take our radius tool. We can't do anything on a uh, part that's already like elevated. It, does just, it just doesn't work. So we're going to have to find where it's flush with the ground, right about here it looks like. And we're going to want to go the same uh, spot as the start of the actual top deck. So I'm going to bring that down until you kind of see where it meets with the ground surface. So right here. Click once. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Follow this point down. I don't think I lost it. Follow this point down here. This one until it hits the surface. Okay, and then now we can push back. And you see if I go back too far, it's kind of on this wall. You want it to be right on the surface where it's still flush with the ground. It's very important that you do it where it's still flush with the ground. Even if you have to come in a little bit just to be safe, like that's definitely safe to say it's on the ground. Cool. Now that we got that done, Let's go in and do some, oh no. See, I wasn't inside of the group when I did that, so it didn't work. But I can copy it and then paste it again. Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. Paste it somewhere not on the ground. And then drag it in where I want it. So let's see, right about Follow that line down. Right about here looks pretty good. All right, cool. 
And again, I'm not doing everything perfect right now. I'm just trying to just trying to do it however I can. And then we're going to go through and just paint the surface a different color than the rest. So again, I'm going to use asphalt like I did the other day with the rollers because asphalt's the best. I mean, concrete's pretty good too. Dirt, yeah, kind of over dirt. All right, so we're gonna go across the whole berm, kind of doing this, and this is another one of the pretty, pretty uh, tedious parts of the project, but nonetheless, you do it once, and then we can use this berm for the rest of our lives. So I'll fast forward this so that you don't have to waste your time watching me do this. Ah, see, it's good you saw this because right now, see how it's not really uh, slicing these tiles in half where I wanted to? That's because, like I said before, you want to make that radius on a flat surface, and right now it's not really on a flat surface. So there you go, that's why, uh, that's, why that's like that. Don't worry though, we can fix that. I'm just going to make a whole new radius for the inner. That's you know, tiny bit in, like maybe here. And just go from there. So now, let's see. Yep, see how now it's working? So let's just do this again. Highlight all these, paint them black. Hopefully it doesn't make my berm look too weird. I just don't want to start over again for the sake of this video. But we're winging it, so that's fine. And voila, just like that, we fixed it. That may have caused this side to be a little wider than that side, but hey, who cares? All right. Now that we have the trail, this, uh, trail surface one color, we can make everything else one other color. So let's find the grass color, go in here, hold down option, click, and there we go. Now, I know that usually with pump tracks, the top deck is asphalt too. So we can go in and, oops. We can go in and make this part asphalt colored, but then we're left with this kind of uh, ugly transition, which I can show you how to, um, how to make a, make a nice line across, but that's for another video. It's a little more complicated and you don't really need to know that right now. So I'm gonna leave this like that. Boom. How good does that look? Now at this point, if you did our previous video, you'll see that um, we made these rollers and now I can just copy these rollers, go into this model, paste them, Oh my god, the width is actually almost perfect. I didn't mean to do that at all. Drag the width out a little bit. Oop. Close enough. And just like that, we have one side of our pump track. Pretty completed. Probably want to move it in a little bit because there's a little dead space right here. Oop, wrong way. So let's just drag it all on in. Boom. Now would you look at that? It's starting to look like a pump track. Nice. And once we've done that, we can just do the same thing to the other side. So we'll just take this guy, put it on the other side. And look at that. Kind of nice looking little pump track. I forgot the other side of the berm though, so let's copy and paste this berm. Oh, just want to edit group. Huh, it's a little tricky. I don't know 
one way of doing this. Copy that. It's probably going to take a while to load. No, didn't take too long. Paste it. Use this scale tool to kind of 180 it. It'll kind of snap into position where, where it's like supposed to be. Let's drag that back in. Thanks for bearing with me with this. I'm, I didn't write down any notes. I'm kind of just winging it right now, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Again, there's a little dead space, so let's pull this in a little more. Oh, that's a little too much there. All right, that looks better. Sweet. And just like that, we have, why didn't it? Didn't take the color, that's weird. We uh, let me go in here, color as a model. Oh, wrong one. Landscaping, click that. All right, there we go. So now we have a completed pump track. Makes me want to go ride. But there is one thing I want to do. See all these ugly lines? We want to get rid of those. So there's a couple ways to do that. One is just by going down, hitting View, Edge Style, and then unclicking Edges, and also unclicking Profiles. There you go. That's the kind of quickest and easiest way to do it. Another way, if I put the edges back, I can highlight, I can highlight this stuff, double click or uh, right click, smooth edges, check that box, scroll all the way up and see how it kind of made that smooth down on its own. I have to do it again for this, I don't know why it's not doing that. Let's see, edit group. All right, here we go. Now it'll work. Go in. Soft and smooth edges. You see how I want to do this? It takes those lines away. But at the same time, it's also making the contours a little smoother. Like, look how smooth that contour looks compared to this one. This one, you can kind of see each separate box. But this one, it kind of smooths all those boxes together. So it's like one fucking marshmallow and yep so that's basically the process to uh, make the finishing touches and there you have it that's a nice completed pump track and again these are just the kind of stepping stones to get started there's there's lots of ways to get even more in depth but I'm trying to keep it simpler right now for you so there you have it Hope you guys like that, and keep uh, keep checking back for more videos to come. Thanks.